Yo, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I've got a battle report for you today. We're doing Farmers v Falconers. Uh, on the farmer side, looks like we got Grange, Windle, uh, Bushel, Jackstraw, and the Granny, uh, along with uh, Peck, the Rooster. On the Falconers, we just got the base six. What we're going with, looks like Devana won, won the kickoff, so she's choosing to kick. Um, just setting the, setting the line here. <clears throat> Again, we got uh, Kevin playing the Falconers. That's me. We got Andrew playing the, the Farmers. Um, been kicking this this list around in his brain, so he's wanting to try it out. So it's going to be super fun. Let's see what happens. Uh, looks like Vana jogs a little up. Going to kick it kind of off to the side. Try and get, uh, get Bushel out of position a little bit. Bushel's going to go. Looks like uh, Andrew's got his influence allocated. I'm getting mine allocated out there. We got a full stack on Devana. Um, just a little bit on everyone else. Icarus has a little one in case he wants to go for a goal. Bushel runs up, passes the ball over to her boy Grange. Um, then I just run up with the Matagi or the, the bird. Um, looks like Grange is probably going to go for a pass here. Pass to Windle. I was going to walk up, get into some cover. Uh, put out tough hide for the fan. Um, yeah, and then the rooster has the ball. Uh, Matagi's going to go. He's going to get a free shot on Bushel. Um, not sure if I get the Harrier dodge momentously or if I pay for it. Looks like I paid for it, so. Oh, no, I got it. I tried to snapshot, probably. Rooster passed over to Grange. Or, sorry, passes over to Windle. Windle dodges up off that pass. Got Minerva. She's going to throw out a Harrier. Just right in front of Devana. Then uh, Jack Straw is going to go. Pull out some Harvest Markers. Decide on what to do here. I think there's a big thinking activation. I think we just end up going with Rune Das and we throw out another Harrier. Uh, so now Bushel's in two Harriers up there, so she's in some trouble. Wendell's gonna pass a ball to the Granny, I believe. And then Wendell's just gonna go into Rune Das and cover. And get some smacks, doing some damage, doing some. I think he knocks him down. Oh, double push. Yeah. Then does a little bit more damage and another push. So he does damage with his first attack, berserks into a push. Damage with the second attack, another push. I think it's either Devana or Icaros to activate now. Looks like we're going to go Icaros. We don't want to commit Devana yet. Still deciding. I think we're deciding if we want to, you know, move a Harrier and tackle it off the Granny and pass it back to Icarus for the goal, or if we're just going to kind of set up a good activation here for Devana to, to beat up some boys. We already got Bushel and two, two Harriers, so we're looking pretty good there. We got three Harriers out on the field. Looks like Bushel, or Icarus is just going to walk up, take flight, do some punches into Windle. And it looks like we're just going to do some push dodges. And it's like Windle counterattacks here. Only gets one result, um, then push dodge. I think Icarus took a couple points of damage there, but pushes the dodge back into the bird. So the bird's already activated, so now I don't need to hack back on Windle, which is great. Um, Devana can kind of just walk up into Windle, do some damage, really kill him. Looks like Andrew's setting up uh, the granny to rock in a hard place. So she walks up, she knocks down um, Rune Doss. Of course, she ate some harvest markers so she got all the influence so knocked down moved uh move Wendell around and with the ball so she passed the ball to Wendell Wendell dodged back I think he he needed a four because the TN went up but now we're going with Devana and I'm deciding what I need to do I get super greedy so I hack back uh, the bird into both the squatties that are in danger to me I move a harrier onto um the granny but i charged the granny and that was a big mistake because then he could defensive and uh, counter attack which he does i missed the fives he counter attacks pushes me out and so right there i was in a great position to do a legendary i would get his whole team 
but he pushes me out in such a way where I can't get bushel anymore and that makes me sad um, but I'm still in a pretty good spot I pop the the harrier onto the granny um, I get probably a three push uh, going up to four and then with the bird is five and then I get two results which is another four and I just do a ton of damage to to the granny um, probably gonna jail her get a bunch of momentum looks like I'm covering Andrew's momentum by quite a bit um, play some cards here. I can't remember what I played here. Um, probably a low-cost card, though. Um, Andrew's probably similar. Looks like I'm just have a pretty easy first activation with Devana. Looks like I've jailed pretty effectively both the Granny and Wendell because they're right next to the bird. I just go with uh, Devana. I do a couple damage to the Granny. A Legendary takes her out. Um, probably could have done it first. <laughs> Um, then I walk up into Wendell. I make another big mistake here. I forget Wendell has the ball, so I end up just knocking him down and it scatters and beating him up. Um, I knocked down because I just needed some more momentum, but I could have momentous tackle to pass it somewhere. I had more than enough influence to, to kill Wendell here and not worry about the ball. So <laughs> let's see where the ball scatters. I think right now I'm taking my knockdown or take him out and ball goes. Um, over to Rundas. Um, looks like I healed Rundas, um, his knockdown condition with Minerva, um, when I took out the Granny. Um, looks like Andrew's probably gonna kill the bird right now, or he's just gonna knock down either the bird and Rundas. Looks like I had that hack back to Frelsi, um, over into everyone with my last influence. So yeah, he knocks down Rundas, the ball scatters over by Devana. Um, he knocks down the bird, um... Probably putting out Tough Hide, probably on his squaddies in an aura. Like we're thinking, we're pushing Rundas around. I know he wants to get to that ball and try and get a goal, so I think that's what he's doing. Getting his harvest markers down. trying to get the goal himself. I don't think he has it. Last influence, I think he's just gonna clear a snare there with some momentum. He's gonna run and get the ball and pass it back. I think the jack straw is what he does. That's exactly what he does. Uh, Symbol Jack has that ball. And then he dodges up into cover. So I'm thinking about my next activation here. I'm doing proxy bases here, trying to see if Icarus could fit in there, steal the ball from Jack, pass it out. I think I end up deciding not going with that. I'm taking a lot of time on this activation, thinking about what I should do next. So Icarus does go in, and I think I whiff, so I don't think I get the tackle onto Jackstraw. I think I missed my charge and an attack, so that defense 5 can be rough. It's like the chicken's just going to go in, cause a crowd out onto Icarus. Rundas is going to go, the chicken's on 3 life and he's snared, so Rundas is just going to kill a chicken. Chicken drops the Harvest Marker, then Rundas just walks over, got into the bird with Shadow Like, killed the bird, walked over to Jack Straw, just doing some damage it looks like. Um, I don't think I got to the tackle. Um, Jack Straw is just going to teleport, drop some markers, teleport again, shoot a goal. Got a 10 inch goal threat with, with Grange out there, so that's pretty cool. It looks like he nails the goal in. Oh no, he misses! He rolls three threes, that's right. Um, yeah, so unfortunately on three dice bonus timing, Andrew couldn't pull up a four. Big sad. Big sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think uh, Matagi just gets a free Harrier off of Bushel and walks away um, into cover. Bushel charges Matagi, just trying to get some momentum. This is pretty crucial because he gets a momentum off of this and I totally forget that he has a momentum now. <laughs> uh, I just use an activation. I get the bird up in Grange's Grill, and then I have Minerva. She's just gonna go 
hit the ball and pass it to Devana. Devana will get it and dodge up into Grange so she's ready to start beating up on Grange with her favorite friend, her bird, at the start of next round. And so I'm up a lot of momentum. Um, and so I played a really low, I played a, I think I was up two and he had one, I played a six, he played a seven. Then we had a roll off. I thought if I played a six, I automatically had the, the turn. I totally forgot he had that momentum. So he gets a first activation and he's going with Grange. And uh, I think Grange just ends up knocking down a ton of people here, but still big decisions from Andrew. He's definitely on the back foot. It's uh, it's four to five right now, VP for the Falconers. Actually, he missed his goal. So <laughs> it's five zero because he missed his goal. Totally forgot about that. Um, so he's deciding what he's going to do. All the squaddies come back over in that corner over there, keeping him a little safe. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, he's thinking. <laughs> and I'm allocating my influence here. So Andrew goes with Grange. I think he's just going to end up knocking some people down, pushing some people around. But I mean, he's he's got four people on him, so he's ganged up. So swinging on people in cover, he's losing a lot of dice. So trying to stretch his influence out and see if he can make a goal here. Yeah, we're just talking through it. We're saying, what if he knocks him down? What if he doesn't push? I think he ends up needing to, to push Devana. Maybe he knocks her down. I don't remember. Maybe he tackles. Crucial activation here, so we're talking through it. Yeah, he knocks. He tackled, knocked down Devana. He's going to knock down Icarus. Icarus is knocked down. Maybe he knocks down a bird. Yeah, or Rundas. I think he doesn't have enough room to actually get out all of these squatties. So he wanted to get his push so he can walk away. Um, looks like he ends up just passing out to, to Jack Straw. And then Jack Straw will dodge into cover. We'll see how I respond here. I go with Minerva, it looks like, and I run over a ton of harvest markers. I get a crowd out for Grange. And that was that was pretty crucial. I took out took out quite a bit of markers there, so feeling good about that. I think uh Andrew just is gonna go on a goal run. I didn't feel too threatened right here because he missed his first goal. Um looks like Matagi goes, he's gonna throw a Harrier down. Oh, Andrew's just waste, wasting activations up at the top, so he moved the chicken, he moved the granny. Um, now we're going with Devana, and so she stands up with some momentum, and she's just gonna beat up onto Grange. Calculating all my dice here. Either a ton of damage or a knockdown in damage. Um, just Devana doing Devana things. Got the bird with her, so she's she's wrapping pretty much all of these attacks. It's not looking good for <laughs> for Grange. Uh, yeah, she blows up the last one, um, kills Grange, goes on the Jack Straw, tries to go for a tackle, but I can't roll fives. I think is what happens there. <laughs> oh, Andrew, I think he's feeling the heat now. I think he has to go for a goal run now that I have so much momentum. I can all my knockdowns are cleared, so. He kind of has to go for it, get get some points on the board here. Um, that's exactly what he does. Throws down the markers, teleports, gets the Jack Straw special. Um, gets a three. He got a one and a three, so good thing he went for that snapshot. Um, and yeah, so now the Falconers are up. Um, yeah, just going to score with uh, Rune Dots right here. So I think Falconers are up 11 to 4. And uh, Andrew's just going to throw the ball out way over there. Going to land on Windle. I'm already measuring out Icarus's movement, see how far he can go. He goes, that boy goes far. He just gets a Windle and some fast ground. Um, yeah, I think keeps the ball on Windle. So I'm deciding what do I do with uh, Icarus's last influence? 
Uh, Wendell passes the ball to Bushel. So Bushel has the ball. Um, Icarus is measuring out his movement. So Andrew pushes uh, or dodges Bushel out way over there. Uh, so I just go with uh, with Icarus. I kill some harvest markers and just get a little bit more uh, momentum on the board. Um, knowing that if I win the turn, I probably win this game. I can let Andrew shoot this goal and it'll only bring him up to eight. And then, you know, I'll have the ball way out in the distance and I can go with, with anyone and just shoot that goal. So I, I think that's the reason. So Andrew th doesn't shoot the goal here. So he just sits out there with Bushel outside of range. So I have fully loaded Icaros, fully loaded Devana. Like Matagi is... Yeah, I just go with Minerva, it looks like. And I knock down Jackshaw. And so now Andrew's in trouble because if I kill Jackshaw, I win the game. Um, so he's going to, I think, run away with Jackshaw. That's exactly what he does. He stands up, just runs away. Doesn't want to give up a takeout here, so... Now Devana's is sitting on 6 influence and uh, not really doing anything. Looks like Matagi goes, he just gets a free Harrier. He's absolutely insane. Um, super efficient. Bushel goes and goes into Matagi. Gets some, uh, gets some momentum and I think he's just going to shoot the goal. And that's exactly what he does and I just throw it out. Goes right to um, Rundas. Or it uh, goes to out there and then Icaros runs and shoots the goal. And that's the game. Very nice.